All right, hit him from the back. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Keep him coming. We got to knock that damn ship down. Hopefully, we don't break ourselves for that. going on guys dre here and welcome back to another episode of the best besieged creations this week we're starting off with a giant freaking claw machine uh so yes we actually saw this way back in the day on the original sandbox map uh, now the developer has updated it and it looks a lot better now and uh yeah we're on the new sandbox map now i think you can spawn this on pretty much any map though uh, it kind of just floats in the sky. So I thought it'd be fun to try and maybe catch the uh, Besiege Cube. If that doesn't work, I think we can maybe catch the sword over there. Now, I am having a little bit of a jam problem here. So, uh, yeah, can we actually get over very far? It looks like, yeah, every now and then you can see it just gets jammed. So you just, you just need to wiggle it around a little bit. You know what? It's kind of accurate to those old arcade machines anyways. You always needed to whack them a little bit to uh, get them to work. And we'll get over there. It's just going to take a while. Maybe we should move this away from the pole. That could be why it's breaking, actually. So we're going to back that up a little bit. All right. Slow and steady, though. We're making our way over. I think it's just a little bit too big. I mean, there's a lot of wobble in this thing. It's obviously made out of wood. Uh, so that obviously has a lot of bending going on. And then once friction comes into play... It just kind of stops us on these poles, but god damn it, we are so close. We could probably actually grab it right now. Let's try and get it right on top, though. That's looking perfect right there like that. We're just going to bring this back over here, I think. And let's actually connect to the actual claw itself. So this is actually pretty big for this claw. Let's see. Well, we might actually be able to get it in there. Uh, well, I'm going to drop it and see what happens here. I think we're pretty much on top. Let it wiggle into the right direction. There we go. Drop it on top and grab it yeah no i don't think it's gonna happen here let me get down push it into the tower oh, do i got it oh oh no all right well it's at least realistic to the real world counterpart i mean you can you can never win these damn things unless you're really good at them seems like some people are good at them though all right well a sword's a better prize anyways let's see if we can pick up the graveyard sword so oh actually are we higher than the, uh, we are higher than the statues. I guess we could technically raise this up. I'd like to try and pull off the, the statue's head. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit wrong, but that sounds really, really fun. Actually, it looks like we're pretty good right there. All right, going down. Hopefully, we got a long enough cord. This is actually quite a ways down. It looks like we're pretty damn good. We are going to grab this damn sword. This will be great if we can actually get it. Okay, it looks like it's pretty good. Let's just move this over this way just a little bit. Let that sway a little bit and drop it down even more. And grab it! <gasps> oh, come on! Come on! Ah, oh, it's going to be really hard to get a good grip on this thing. If I can get that one arm underneath the uh, side of it, we actually might be good. Actually, we could probably do this and... <gasps> Do I got it? I got it! I freaking got it! Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do with it! But holy crap, I actually successfully did a claw machine. Alright, gotta say, this thing's got some damn good grip, too. We got the sword. You know what? For funsies, let her drop. Let her drop. Can we hit it? Oh, it's definitely not gonna hit that. We took out the tree, though! Hell yeah, we did! Alright, man, this is only gonna hurt a little bit. Just doing some fine, minute changes. Because we're going for that damn head. I'm going to rip the head right off if I can. All right. I don't feel like... Oh, we're actually going the wrong way. That would explain it. I'm smart. Okay, but that looks pretty good. We're going to drop it down. Keep dropping it. Keep dropping it. Oh, actually, we're a little bit sideways. Didn't even notice that. And... I damn it! Let me at least grab it first. God damn. That is a fragile statue, guys. Oh, my God. This thing is so big. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be so damn big. All right, we're going to try and maybe grab this guy. It's swaying so much because it's so high up. All right, we're going for it. He's so confused. Okay, there we go. And grab him. Let's lift up a bit. Uh, did it break it? Oh, oh, okay. It was actually grabbing the ground. Damn it! I knocked him down. Oh, that was actually close, though. Can you, can you get back up? Thank you, sir. Okay, we're really waving this now. He's freaking out again. I like that they actually get a little bit nervous. All right, we'll have to drop it at the right time. Don't run away! 
Don't run away from me. You're my damn prize. Come come back here, you little jerk. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There you go. Oh, God! Okay. I wanted a prize. I didn't want to kill anybody. Well, if I can't catch peasants, I'll catch windmills. So we'll see if we can actually do this. We have to be careful because we can break it. <gasps> uh, okay, okay. Coming over a bit. Just give me a second. Wait for the clamp down. We're going to drop it down again. Come on, baby. I just want myself a windmill. Okay, there we go. We're definitely moving back. I think we're kind of stuck on it. If I can keep moving it, maybe move it up a bit and then drop it on top. Wait for it. Okay. I'm thinking... Ah, oh, God! Besiege is the worst claw machine ever. Did I, did I win anything? No, just sadness. Okay, great. All right, well, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to pick up in Besiege that doesn't destroy itself, but clearly I'm not very good at finding those things. So, we got a sword. At least that's something. Okay, and welcome to the War on Besiege, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm in a Jurassic Park, uh, well, it doesn't really look like the Jurassic Park Jeep. Maybe there was, a like, a st station wagon in Jurassic Park that I forget about. Uh, doesn't really make sense, but I don't actually have that many off-roading vehicles downloaded right now. This is basically an endless battle where you join one team, which is the team that has the hill right now. And as you can see, we are literally in a war zone right now, so once we go over this hill, we should see the enemy team. Gotta slow it down extremely slowly, unfortunately, because a lot is going on. But, like, look at this. We got, like, a, a mortar guy here. It looks like these are, like, pillboxes. Yes, we got pillboxes up on the top. I'm still driving. Where the hell's my car? Oh, God, don't get hit. Whoa! Why do cameras hate me in this game? Am I, am I dead now? Okay, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. We're okay. Let's keep going. Watch out for the rubble. Holy crap. Oh, God! Oh, that's bad! That's bad. Are we okay? Okay, we're on fire. That's not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, this isn't- this is not Jurassic Park. This is not where we're supposed to be right now. God damn it! Yeah, I totally fried my front end. Well, they did, not me. All right, I found something that made a little bit more sense. We're in the KMX 236 Experimental. I don't know if we'll be able to get up this hill, man. Friction is not a thing in Besiege that vehicles like too much, so there goes that pillbox again. I don't know if this is random or if it's expected to happen, but we are being bombarded right now, guys. I think they're gonna take back this war, unless I can get over to help these guys quickly here. All right, this time we're making it up. They're blowing up all the pillboxes. Oh God, you guys, ah! Oh no, I'm hit! I'm hit! Oh God, that's actually horrifying. Okay, we're okay. This is why we have eight wheels, so we can lose some of them. I definitely have some damage here now though. And I'm not going to be able to probably get up this hill. God damn it. These guys are good. These guys are really good. All right. Going to try the eastern side of the battlefield. See if this somehow goes better. Judging by the uh, shrapnel right now. Probably not. This is amazing. These guys are actually mortars that are actually shooting. Oh, God. We got a bombardment coming in. I'm going to get away from these guys because they're probably being targeted. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Uh, uh, war's crazy, man. Look at this. Like, look, look, look what's going on in front of us. There's just things being destroyed everywhere. Oh my god! I just watched somebody die. That, that, that was sad. Rest in peace, buddy. Okay, there's more people dead in front of us. Great. Everybody's just gonna die by the time I get to the top of the hill. I need your support! Oh my god. Now that I'm looking over the hill, what the hell is that thing? What? What are you holding? What the frig is that? Okay, I have no idea what that is. He's supposed to be dead. He's like possessed or something. I think we almost just got hit. So, yes! It's just basically D-Day in Besiege right now. This is this is amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna not screw with that guy because I don't know what that thing does. I'm actually morbidly curious about it though. Uh, we got a lot of guys down here though, so let's actually maybe park up shop here. Problem is I don't have a parking brake. What the hell was that? Did something just hit me? Oh, it's arrows! I'm being shot by arrows now. Great. Okay, I guess I'm within range. So I haven't ever used this, so bear with me here. Okay, there we go. We're we're good. All right, so it looks like, oh god, what is going on? What the heck just hit me? Ah! Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's not good. That's not good at all. What the hell? All right, you know what? I'm not even gonna try the gun. I'm just being shot too much to even, like, prepare it. Is that Santa? Santa, is that you? What the frig is that? I have so many questions right now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be able to do more damage, though, just by driving over these guys. There we go, that one's dead. Don't tell me. Did I flip on the first guy I killed? Of course I did. Because I suck at war. But my god, look at all these things over here. Like, this guy. Uh, clearly, are these supposed to be like angel wings? 
I, I, I don't really get it. I, I, I really don't. All right, this time we're gonna flank them. So it looks like most of the battle is obviously going on on the hill. I'm wondering, do they target me? That's what I kind of want to find out here. But yeah, we're gonna flank them from the east and see if we can maybe do something over here. Because if we stay out of the, the firefight, we should actually be okay. This is really cool though. There's very few like animated war maps out there. So this would be really fun if you had like eight other people to play with on each side or something like that. Unfortunately, I don't think you'd be able to run it very well though. Okay, so I'm just gonna hopefully lay down the law a bit here as I pull up ahead. Okay, I can see the projectile now. We have a uh, bullet round tracing. Still not the easiest to aim, obviously. There we go. Looks like our teammates took out the opposition for us anyways. Uh, but we got a lot more to deal with. Hello, archers! How's it going? I'm gonna try and do a drive-by here, see if we can hit a couple of these guys. Keep turning it, keep turning it, and bam! Oh, delay is real bad on this. Of course, I'm in slow motion, so anything's gonna have a little bit of a delay. I'm shooting, but it's so delayed. Oh, did we just ricochet off him? It bounced off the ground, it looked like. God damn, dude. What?! I definitely hit that guy there. Are these guys, like, immune to ammo? Is that why they're winning the battle right now? There we... Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Definitely got something damaged on me now. I felt that. That's not good. We still should have a cannon, though. That's the important part. I have no idea if I've killed anybody so far. We're just bobbing up and down now. It is so hard to aim something like this in the heat of war. So, Oh, what the frig, man? How can I not... I just bounced it off his head, guys. I literally bounced that shot off his head. So clearly, uh, another I killed the guy with the bounce! Why, why did the bounce kill him, but the actual shot? I'm so confused. Okay, well, we got a kill at least. Didn't happen how I wanted it to, but that was really cool to be fair. I mean, a ricochet to a kill? Talk about lucky. Now I can't seem to turn my turret. That must mean, is there a max turning radius on this? Ooh, we, get, we got a broken wheel. Oh God, I just broke another wheel by turning. Great, Sh shouldn't have moved the thing. Okay, okay, let's see. There's arrows stuck in my wheels. What is going on right now? Oh, I'm, I, I'm just really lopsided. I think, I think they broke my turret. I can't turn it. Well, I got a couple kills at least, so that's fun. What, is that barrels? Is that explosive barrels you're shooting at these guys? This is hardcore. So yes, yeah, so I thought I would show you guys this just because, well, it's really cool. It's not really creations that make this cool. I mean, this is a literal war zone, and it's an endless war zone. So if you like, you know, trying to test out vehicles against actual shots and everything, this would be a great map to do that because they actually do aim at you, as you can see, when you are close too. At least the archers do. All right, and welcome to a creation called the Water Sausage. This is actually a really good idea for a combat-focused nautical creation. So the whole idea of this one is to kind of wrap yourself or get really close to ships and pretty much totally destroy them. We have cannons or fire cannons. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't expect it to be that hardcore, but yes, we got cannons on both sides that, as you can see, do a lot of damage. We also have fire flamethrowers. Oh, it's just out the back. Okay, so that one, not as impressive. I was actually hoping for flamethrowers. That would actually be perfect against wooden creations, so I uh, should probably put those on the sides, too. But yeah, that's pretty much all it does is totally damage boats. On the sides, I was hoping it would bend a bit more. It looks like that's pretty much the max bend. Because if you could wrap around, if this thing was really fast and could wrap around a ship, it would be absolutely horrifying. Let's see how good it is against a ship. Okay, so this is a really big ship that might be sinking on its own. No, it looks like it's just wobbling in the water due to its weight. But let's appreciate the size of the water sausage now. Like, look at the size of this thing. To put it in perspective, it is 1,038 blocks, and it actually is very fast. It goes 65 kilometers an hour in the water, so uh, definitely if you were battling ships, this thing would be a force to be reckoned with, and I think we're going to have no problem taking down this ship over here. So what we're going to do here is probably kind of like a drive-by. I'm going to try and wrap around it, but you got to remember, being that we're spawning in two creations, I'm controlling both at the same time, and it looks like I'm turning the boat as well, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. Benefit being, we're a lot faster than the boat. I don't even think the boat's going forward. It's just kind of spinning on its own. So we should be able to get a pretty good hit here. Oh, I don't want him to be totally sideways when we shoot, though. Ah, oh, man, he's 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 playing with me. Come on, 
I'm actually turning as hard as I can. This is as hard as this thing can turn. So I guess sausages aren't very good at turning. I mean, I, I don't know. All right, let's go for the first shot. See how we can do. What? What? That is not enough damage, goddammit. Okay, wow. I might actually damage myself more than I damage the damn ship. All right, hit him from the back. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Keep them coming. We gotta knock that damn ship down. Hopefully we don't break ourselves before then. Oh, wow. This thing just has crazy amounts of damage output. Okay, safe to say uh, the water sausage indeed won that battle. And that kind of showed the sheer firepower of this thing. My god, this ship, she's definitely going down. Or she's just gonna float around in pieces, because I think that's how the buoyancy works in Beseech. Okay, so, uh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think I think we've gone too far. Um, this is a weapon. And as you can see, it, it doesn't really fit in any map in the game. I mean, we might be able to move around with it. But yes, basically this is a giant death laser. Well, multiple death lasers, I should say. It's got 32 kinetic lasers on each side, so I'm assuming that's what these little doohickeys are right here. Now, we can actually drive this around. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I gotta run this, as you can see, at two freaking percent. So I'm pressing the button. Oh my god, this is, uh, this is too much, guys. This is 3,000 blocks. I can hardly run creations that are like two, so... Yeah, I'm d I don't know if I'm actually driving this thing. It's hard to tell. I could be, maybe. Let's uh, let's try and go the other way. I do see that it's trying to actually move. Okay, it is moving. It is moving. It's just so big you can't even freaking tell. I'm going the wrong way, by the way. So let's uh start turning the other way. It's probably gonna take forever to stop this thing and start turning the other way. But holy crap, it actually moves. Why is it so big? That's my question. I mean. I understand why, if you can, why not? I mean, why not? Because nobody can play this. At least that full throttle. That is just crazy. So yeah, it looks like we got little fans here. Is that how it moves? Is just the fans and then it sticks to these wheels? Kind of like a, a train on a railroad track? Except not really. Imagine being this house right now. Like, you can't even see it. Like, it is so freaking big. Now, I'm coming up. Not fast, but I'm coming. This guy's like, I don't know what to do. Should I freak out? Should I be a farmer? Not really sure, are you, buddy? But uh, you better figure it out quick, man. Because this thing's going to take down your whole town. And it's not even the weapon part. It's just really freaking big. Oh, God. I just, I wanted to get to the middle of the map. It might be a long process to get there, though. Oh, sorry about your house, buddy. Let's uh, try the, the, the laser, shall we? Uh, so I'm just going to turn those suckers on. Oh, I'm supposed to hold it. Okay, wait for it. We, 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 we gotta charge them lasers. Is it, is it working? Is it not? That's the big question. Who knows? <gasps> oh, holy crap. I got it to work. So I got away from the sandbox just because that was too big of a map to deal with the lag. I can at least run the, the uh, creation at 9% now. So yeah, that's what it looks like when it's actually being shot. Now we can actually, uh, oh my god, aim these things up too. Wait, why? Why did it stop? Okay, well, it looks like it's coming back on, so that's fun. Now we're gonna... Oh, doing it again. Okay. Just... It looks like it's resetting every time, but we got a castle down here. Not that you can really see it, but, uh... Is it actually damaging it? Oh, man. This is... This... Again, this is too big, man. This is... Too, officially, this, this is it. This is too freaking big. So it looks like the lasers are working. Oh, it's going back up. Why is it going back up? No. I didn't want you to go back up. All right, we definitely are aimed up. Oh, there we go. We broke a fence! So yeah, it looks like it does the typical explosions at the end, edge of the lasers. But for some reason, there we go. It just takes a little bit of, uh, you know, moving around. And then every once in a while, they actually seem to work. Uh, but yeah, basically it charges the lasers. Now this should... Ah, it didn't damage it. Maybe the next charge will work? I'm not really sure how this thing exactly works, so I'm gonna turn off the laser. I'm gonna charge it for a bit. Maybe we have to charge it for a prolonged period of time. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna fire my lasers, and it looks like some are definitely hitting the actual tower, but I can't seem to actually get this thing to work, so... Intro oh, oh, oh. I can't see them when I look over... Why is that?! I wanna see where I'm aiming, but every time I look back... 
it's not actually aimed up. So, and I, it's so large, I can't actually see where I'm aiming when I'm up here as well. So, yes, as I said, I think this is official. It is too big for its own damn good. But still, I mean, if you can do it, you may as well freaking do it. This is absolutely crazy. Maybe if I move it up a bit and get it in the right position, we might be okay. God, I, it's like the fog is even <laughs> affecting me because I can't really see where I'm going. Okay, we're going the wrong way again. Sweet. Okay, coming in with all the lasers. I'm going to use the back lasers maybe, and it just vanished. So I think it's resetting. Yeah, that's when it shoots is when it vanishes. This is very hard to use, though, just due to its size once again, which is sad, man. If it was, like, maybe 30% of the size, this would be viable. But I can't seem to get these things to line up right. So we can seem to get the bottom ones okay. The top ones just doesn't work, man. I mean, it's hitting it. You can see we're rolling by. We're hitting some of the uh, structure and whatnot. And there we go. We, we damaged it. Why can't I seem to damage the actual structure, though? Some of those lasers were definitely connected to it. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks good. I think we broke. Yes! We're finally breaking it! I expected these lasers to be much more powerful, but it seems to be that it slowly deteriorates anything it touches. So, I'm getting it. It's just, we've seen this, this castle go down way quicker before. And as cool as this weapon is, it's just too damn big, man. It's just way too damn big. Well, when you can't use a weapon as its intended function, you simply use it to run over things, especially a weapon of this size. So, we might have not been able to take out the castle with the laser, but God damn it, we're gonna take out the castle anyways with the sheer size of this thing. I'm actually curious to see, will this be affected by the effects of this? Ooh, you know what, we're gonna have to turn this a bit, so hopefully I turn it the right way. We're still gonna hit it, just wanted to hit more of it. Or you can actually turn it, by the way, so hopefully it's actually working. Oh, God, it's it's breaking the castle, though. That's all I wanted. Just a destroyed castle, as per usual. Come on, baby. Can we get the rest of it? Seems to be uh, slowing down a little bit. Definitely taking it out, though. And once again, like, the size is just way too much. All right, there we go. That's perfect. Yes! I actually wonder if these guys will be safe just due to the amount of rubble. You can see it's not actually... Eh, it looks like maybe it's hitting the ground over here. It's hard to tell, but we definitely haven't hit the ground over here. Okay, they're probably dead. We're getting really close to their heads. Wait for it. Yep, there we go. Now they're dying. And this is indeed turning, as you can see, so it does turn. Turning is indeed confirmed. All right, guys, and on that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of Besiege here. It's always a good Besiege episode when you have the biggest weapon I've ever seen in this game. And I think that's, a f I mean, that's definitely the biggest weapon. I don't think we've had anything that's even close. I mean, it's not the most destructive, but definitely the largest. All right, guys, but as always, if you want to check out any of the uh, designs that were in this episode, links will be in the description where you can go and download them for yourself. I also do want to mention, I actually have a Stormworks episode that already went out today, and if you guys are a fan of Besiege, you might want to check out this game as well. It's really, really cool. It has the same, you know, vehicle building idea, except you are basically trying to save lives in it. So it's really cool. I do recommend you go check it out if you've never heard of Stormworks before, because I think you guys will really enjoy it. Link will be in the description as well, as well as just on the channel. So thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.